How you doing guys? Welcome to Live Life with Nip. In this video, I will show you my mistakes and my tips that I learned during this long run, which is the 30 kilometers. Trails on the trails, it is the first longest trail run that I, I have ever done in my lifetime. Guys, I'm about to head off and do my long run. It's my first run of week five into my ultra running, ultra 50k. I am um, planning on doing 28 kilometers. Hopefully, uh, how I feel at the 28 kilometer mark, I might push it further to expand it to four hours on my feet. I got my hydration pack ready, and let's roll. The the longest run that I've done. Previously, which is the 21 kilometers, which is five, which is five years ago when I signed up a on a 42 kilometer Spartan race, which I did not cross the the, the 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 finish line. I made it halfway, and I couldn't because I did not train for the hills, which is my mistake, and I did not do enough research. Right this time around, I did lots of research every day. I pretty much. Uh, watch lots of videos in YouTube uh, following people who are pro runners getting some tips the running community on YouTube is amazing they love supporting each other sharing information so this time around I was I was a bit more prepared but I did some few mistakes <laughs> and I love to share with you um, at the end of this clips what it is from based on my experience running this 30 kilometers today stay to the end of this video and I will share you my tips and my mistakes during this run and I hope that you enjoy the video this is like the longest hill high percentage grade it's about 40 30 40 percent guys look at that <laughs> so this is I got this during the loop then I might do two loops to make it you know 25 28 kilometers so basically it's a full-on uphill mission basically and uh, I always get fucked up this hill and it's only like four and a half k's in so I'm at the 1k mark uh, sorry 10 one hour mark and I've uh, done 9.2 kilometers which is a lot faster than last last week's long run when I, last week's long run at the 1k mark I was doing it at 8 8 kilometers point six. so basically at 9 30 so I made about you know 600 <laughs> about six, 700 extra meters on my run today so I'm slightly faster, which is good. My pace a bit faster, I think. Instead of seven and a half, it's probably seven. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. Happy with this progress so far. So I'm at my two hour mark. Basically, I'm back to where I started at my starting point. So I just did a loop. I turned off somewhere, which ended up going back to my starting point which is all right so this also gave me the opportunity to go to my car and check for my two carbohydrate gel that i need so i'm at a two hour mark the 17 and a half kilometers so guys i'm on the three hour mark pretty much pretty much the same distance as last time Last time I did 25 kilometers, three hours, five minutes. It's about yeah, three hours and I'm short 300 meters. So pretty much same time as the last time pretty much. Maybe a few minutes faster. So basically I'm walking down the steepest hill that I just came up before this morning. I'm a, when I was in my car, I only found one car, carbohydrate gel. I wouldn't need that gel right now because I'm at the 26 and a half mark. Ugh. 
and my legs feeling it. Damn it, I knew we need that gel. <laughs> Whew. Oh, what the heck? My Garmin watch just died on me just as I was about to reach my 30k mark. It was 29.7 kilometers as I'm about to reach my home vehicle. Thank goodness, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. My goal was to do 28 kilometers and I did 30 kilometers, which is about three hours and 45 minutes along that. So, welcome back. So, what are my mistakes that I, I stunt you in this 30 kilometers? One, basically I was running a bit faster at the beginning. I was trying to stick to about six, six, six thirty mark with the first five kilometers, 10 kilometers, which I have done nicely, which has done nearly 10 kilometers in one, in one hour, which I'm very, very happy. And then, um, and then uh, that was, that, that I paid for that at the end, which around the 20 K marks and my legs were starting to feel it, right? Uh, second mistake is double check your bags right your, your your energy gels i lost two gels that i really needed which my carbohydrates uh thank goodness that i did the loop and i found one in my car and i got back home there was one on the couch because i picked up my vest and i somehow fell up off the pocket so double check your gels before you go for a run just to make sure right Number three, uh, mistakes is basically, um, what am I talking about? Basically is, is a cramping, right? Cramping. I was starting to feel the cramps building up around the 25K mark. Um, apparently, you, um, you just recommend it to bring some sort of salt tablets or some sort of salt drinks that you can uh, sodium to, um, to re replenish your salt because you lose a lot of sweat use a lot, lot of salt and sodium through your sweat as well which uh, so next time I will bring some sort of salt tablets and drinks number four four is it four <laughs> so four is basically um, the wall I was feeling hitting the wall basically around the 28 kilometer 26 kilometer mark I start to feel my legs cramping up uh, I, mean, I mean tensing up uh, uh, I feel like I was hitting that wall already at the 20k uh, mark so that's is the um, my that's my tips and what I found out during my 30 kilometers run I hope that you uh, go out there and be prepared yourself and I'm trying to I'm trying to prepare myself for better next time I'm going any further than 30 kilometers on the trails all right take care guys also I forgot number five I basically I tried this um, when it comes to nutrition I was trying this oat bar with some vanilla um, slice on top and I, I enjoyed it but it didn't satisfy me very much very much right so um, tr um, try different things so next time I'm gonna try to bring a pizza something along that line something a little more solid so I can feel because I noticed that I get a bit sluggish and I feel my stomach feel empty once I fill my stomach up with some decent food I feel much better I feel like I have more energy just because knowing that my stomach is filled with food right so that's that's it guys that's five tips of five mistakes that I need to to um, sort out during my next run um, yeah hope you enjoy your running journey as much as I do please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff take care bye bye